Hello, hello. Hi, can you hear me? Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hi, good evening. Let me just get here the audio. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yes. Okay, perfect. That's great. Hi, everyone. Nice to see you again. Right, on our third day of classes. Yes, third day of classes. Very good. Welcome, Susana. Hi, good evening, Miss. Good evening. How was yesterday? We missed you yesterday, Susana. Me too. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna start working here with our class. Right, yesterday we were working with, uh, oops, no, 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 oh my God. One moment. Okay, it's 8.02, so we're gonna call attendance. Let's see, Ana Mercedes Amaya Corado. Ana Mercedes? No, okay. Andrea Laureana Vasquez Martinez? Present. Good. Carlos Mario Vendaño Peña? Carlos Mario? Carlos René Rivas López. Carlos René. Carmen René Calderón de Vázquez. <coughs> Delmi Guadalupe Gómez Landa Verde. Present. Edgar Gonzalo Chacón Alvarado. Elsa Merino de Villeda. Francisco Nehemías Godino Surquía. Present. Helen Dionel Ibarraza de Jerez. Present. José Daniel Méndez Bolaños. Present, teacher. Kevin Vladimir Gutiérrez Castillo. Marlon Balmoris Dueña Rodríguez. Mauro Estela Orantes Fernández. Nelson Hello. Domínguez Díaz Alas. Present, teacher. Okay, Nelson Dominguez Diaz Alas, I heard two voices. Present. Thank you. Oscar Mauricio Montenegro. Reina Margarita Martinez de Castillo. Roxana Elizabeth Mendez Melara. Rubén de Jesús Campos Gómez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Susana Esmeralda Jiménez. Present. Mario Alexander Arteaga Campos. Diana Carolina Guevara Ortiz. Claudia Carolina Ventura Canales. Okay, so that's what we got for today, right? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Uh, my name is Noe. Uh, I have not attended class for work reason, teacher. Okay, I understand. Thank you so much for being here today then. Right? Okay, Thank okay. You. What is your full name? What is your complete uh, name? Yes, uh, Noé Ortiz Carrillo. Noé Ortiz Carrillo. Sí. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. No, Ortiz. Eh, Reina Margarita Martínez de Castillo, no. 
eh, le dieron este, este link para la clase. ¿No es? Eh, sí, teacher. Eso me apareció en el grupo. Eh, ¿En, ¿En cuál grupo? De que, me agregara, que, me, que me agregara. Módulo 5, básico. ¿Pero ese es un grupo que han hecho ustedes o el grupo oficial de WhatsApp? No, el, el, el grupo oficial de WhatsApp. Ok, que no me aparece en la lista, fíjese. Escríbame su nombre completo en el chat, para mí solo, por favor. Para ver qué. Ok, 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 ok. Escríbamelo ahí. Ok, so, welcome. I see more people now. Thank you so much for being here. Right, and let's start here with the class. Ana Amaya, write your number, your name completely. Please, complete names, complete names. Okay. Ya es okay, tercer teacher. día, chicos, ya es tercer día. Somos módulo cinco, ya sabemos qué hacer. Right, now let's start here with our class. Yesterday we were working with what clauses, right? Did you understand what, what clauses were? Do you have a question about what classes? Entendimos que eran las what classes ayer? Tenemos alguna pregunta? Por ese silencio rotundo, comprendieron al 100%, les puedo hacer preguntas y un examen si quisiera ahorita. Right? Or do you have questions? Tell me. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Si no es mucha molestia, nos puede dar una repasada, por favor. Yes. Bueno, por lo menos yo no estuve en la clase. Who? Oh. Tell me, tell me. No. Susana. No. Ah, Susana. Ok, Susana. Now, yes, I can tell you again a little bit of what clauses are, right? Remember, if you're not in the class, you need to watch the video, right? The video in the, in, in the YouTube link. Now, yesterday we were working with clauses, right? Clauses are just one, one part of the sentence, Susana, right? They are not a complete sentence. So in this case, what we are doing is that we are sharing examples of what clauses as a subject. So we have the what clause plus the verb to be plus a complement, right? So yesterday, your classmates, they wrote a lot of beautiful examples with what clauses, right? Uh, Laureana, can you read one of your examples to Susana? No, no. Okay. Okay. What you need is to sleep to go to work. What you need is to sleep to go to work. To go to work. Very good. Thank you, Laureana. So look at here the chat and also the screen, Susana. Right? We have this example, right? What you need is to sleep to go to work. So yesterday we were working with this part. This is my what clause, right? After the what clause, I always have a sub a verb. In this case, it's always the verb to be, right? So always the verb to be, and then we have a complement, <clears throat> right? What you need is to sleep to go to work. Can you tell me another example, Nelson? For Susana, please. Ay, yo todavía no he entendido este volado. Okay, that's what we're doing. We're reviewing. Por eso estamos dando ejemplos ahorita, Nelson. Es que, o sea, no, no entiendo eh, cómo, cómo lo voy a estructurar. Eh, Siempre hemos visto una fórmula como estructurado. O sea, hoy, hoy no entiendo, la verdad. ¿Cuál o sea, es yo la se fórmula la que han visto? Se, se, no. se la puedo inventar, pero no sé. Ok. O sea, what is... 
eh, no, what I need to eat every day. Okay. Now, understand this, Nelson. This is not a question, okay? This is not a question. These what clauses are not questions. These are sentences, okay? Usually we start writing questions with a what, where, why, right? But this is not a question. This is a sentence, right? What is a sentence, right? A sentence. O sea que what clause eh, es la única condición que tiene que no va para preguntas, sino solamente para oraciones. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Susana. Very good. A sentence is an statement, right? A statement about something. Oh, right? si me quedo claro. Right? About something. So what happens here? We are not making questions, right? If you remember yesterday, the questions always have a question mark at the end, right? We didn't write question marks, right? We don't write question marks in this case. So this is not the, the structures that you have seen before, right? This is a new structure in which we use a what clause as a subject, right? So we have what you need, then we have the verb, right? And this is the structures that we have always for sentences. How do we write a sentence in English? Subject plus verb plus complement, right? This is what we get. Subject plus verb plus complement. This is always, all the time, the structure of a simple sentence in English, right? I am a teacher. I, subject, am, Verb, teacher, complement, right? So here we have the same, it's exactly the same thing, right? So we have here subject, what you need, verb is complement to sleep to go to work, right? It has the same elements, right? The only thing that now, because we are not module one, we're in module number five, we need to see more complicated structures, right? To start practicing more, right? Now, do we understand this part right now? Uh, okay. More or less, but- more or less, um, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, let me but, see. Ruben, okay. give me another example so we can, we can work together, Susana. Give me another example from the ones that you wrote yesterday. What you need is to have a new phone. What you need is to have a new phone. Very good. From this example, me, Susana, what is the subject? What you need? What you need, exactly, very good. So what you need will be the subject, very good. Let's put it here, right? What is the verb that we're using? Is. Is, okay. Be. Mm -hmm. Very good, the verb to be, exactly. The verb to be conjugated, right? With is, very good. And the complement? To have a new phone. To have a new phone, okay, perfect. So this is simply the structure. Now, another thing that we need to know is that when we use what, right? What is equal the thing that, right? The thing that, that is the meaning. When we say, so I can say, for example, here, right? The thing that I need is to have a new phone. So this word what means the thing that I need. The thing that, right? That's that's the meaning, right? What is equal the thing that? You don't have to translate it, but you have to think when you when you're saying what is oh the thing that. What I what I, for example, what I want is to drink water. 
you can use other verbs, right? You can use other verbs. Now, do you understand the structure, Susana? Um, yes, yes, Miss. Yes. Sí, okay. solo, eh, solo tengo una pregunta. Yes. Pero solo podemos ocupar el sujeto you, o sea, no podemos ocupar el she, he. Ah, por good ejemplo. question. Very good. We can use other subjects. We can use other subjects. We can use she, he, they, what, what my students need is uh, to practice more listening, for example. Right. What my students want is more hours for the class. Right. So we can use other subjects. Very good question. Right. Okay. Another question, uh, Mr. Mr. Nelson. Mr. Nelson. Okay. Um, Dominguez. Le, le, the structure. Yes. What? What? Um. Subject. Um. um bear. And B and complement. In complement. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Yes, that is the structure. That is the structure. Correct. Anybody else with a question? Thank you. Thank you, Nelson. Ask Thank questions you, right now. Uh huh. For example, ¿Cómo se puede usar las palabras? Tan, we, when. Uh, sería because, because my dog does not want to eat. Okay, that is a correct answer. Because my dog doesn't want to eat, but that is not a what clause, right? The what clauses, Oscar, they always start with what? Right, always what, what Carmen eh, wants, what they need, what you uh, have, always start with what, because it's an answer that we, we, we give when we ask why, right? For example, why do you study English? I study English, but that is a question. And what you're giving me is an answer for the question why, and it's correct, because my dog doesn't want to eat, right? But that is not a what clause. What clauses always start with the word what. That's why they are called what clauses, right? Okay. Okay. Is always positive or, or negative? O sea, eh, positivo o, tiene, o puede haber, estar en, en negativo, we, por ejemplo. We could write negatives, but it's not that common. But we could write a negative, right? If we can say, for example, what, what doesn't make me angry, what doesn't make me angry is uh, to go to the, to the beach, for example. But it doesn't make much sense. Right, uh, but we can say another uh, uh, negative. Let's see, we can say, for example, here, right? We can say, what you don't understand, negative, what you don't understand, Susana, what you don't understand is that I need a birthday party, right? So we have a, ne a negative, right? Let me write the negative here. What you don't understand, I'm gonna put this right here. Give me a moment. El what solo vamos solo vamos a ocupar en personas. Uh, yes, only for what clauses? What clauses? These are. Let me put it here. What clauses? So yes. we start with what? Mm -hmm. We start with what? Let's put here. We're gonna make a negative. What you don't understand is that I want a birthday party, right? So I have my example here. 
right? What you don't understand is that I want a birthday party and it still has the same structure, right? It still has the same structure. My subject, right? My verb, which is verb B, right? my verb, and then my complement, right? Teacher. Yes. Why uh, um, use uh, the next to the verb be Good evening. Too? Good evening. In the, what? In the uh, case, los anteriores, uh, um, uso el to después del verb be. Oh, because these are infinitives. After the verb be, right? If you have, for example, here, the verb be. Give me a moment, right? Verb B plus a verb, only like that, then this is going to be incorrect, right? All the time. For example, it doesn't matter if it is a what clause or not, right? If you have the verb B plus a verb, for example, here I say, uh, let's say, what? What Carmen, what Carmen remembers is to, uh, to drink water all the time, right? This is my example. But if I leave this example like this, let's say I say, what Carmen remembers, and then I put is drink, right? This is incorrect. You, you can never have this combination, right? This is going to be always incorrect, right? Always incorrect, right? You need, when you have the verb to be, right? Verb be plus a verb, it has to be a verb with ing. Right, and this is used for present progressive, past progressive, future progressive. For example, we can say, uh, Laureana is working, right? Laureana is working in the hospital. Then I, in this case, I can use verb to be plus verb with ing because this is working as a verb. Right, and this is another tense, right? Do we understand this part, Carmen? Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, anybody else with a question? Porque el verbo V es is y no are en el caso de you. Where, 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 where? where? Uh, in the first example? In these two, because it's, it's just a situation. It's a situation, so we use the verb be with a, a firm, with a singular form, right? It's a situation. What you need is a situation, right? It's not, we're not talking about uh, more things, right? So when we say what, what you need is, uh, how can I say, mm, it's not an activity, it's a state, right? It's just a thought, right? When you, when you use this type of uh, phrases, if you see, I don't have, I cannot count these. I cannot say what you need, one, two, three, no, right? It's actually an uncountable subject, right? That's why we always have is. Right? We cannot use are in this, in this specific case when we have quad clauses. Good question. Thank you, Susana. Okay. Well, any other questions? No questions? Ask questions right now. Remember, you can ask the questions in Spanish. Okay, that, that will be okay. Just try to try to do it in English as your classmates did. 
so you can understand better. You can ask, if you don't understand, you can ask in Spanish, that's okay with me. Susana, do you have another question? No, Miss. For the moment, no. no. For the moment, Thank no. You. You're welcome. Reina? I think Reina was not here yesterday. Ana Mercedes, do you have any question? No, teacher. No? Y cuando usemos el what, uh -huh. a ley tenemos que usar el is. Yes. Yes, that is correct. Sí, porque esto es lo que está observando, que en todas las oraciones lleva what y en medio lleva is. That is correct. In this type of clauses, yes, because the what clause is the subject. Yes, Maurice. Mm. Very good. Teacher, yes, uh, mm -hmm. pregunta. I Go have ahead. the question. Uh, en el en la en la oración que dijo que no se podía usar que estaba incorrecto dice what Carmen remember is drink mm -hmm. usted dijo que teníamos que usar siempre la ing eh, in that case if if we're talking about progressiveness present progressive past progressive but in these clauses we don't use progressive pero pero el significado del verbo no va, no va a cambiar es decir eh, yo entiendo la pregunta lo que Carmen re, eh, recuerda es eh, beber agua todo el tiempo exactly o sea exactly. que el significado del verbo no no va a cambiar porque se entiende que ing quiere decir eh, es, es presente present progressive es progresivo exacto presente progresivo verdad correct entonces Pero ya cuando se, eh, se, se utiliza el, el what clause, eh, el verbo no cambia. El significado del verbo no cambia. It, it will pero not tiene, change. Pero se tiene que utilizar el ing, ¿verdad? That is correct. En el verbo. The thing is that when you're using present progressive, right, what you're saying with present progressive is that you are describing activities that are happening in the moment of speaking. For example, I can say, Reina is paying attention. Ah, okay. Nehemias is listening to Carlos René. So we are describing activities that are happening in this moment. Right? Carlos Mario is eating his dinner. Right? That is happening now. Right? So that's when we use a present progressive with ing. Right, but the meaning of the verb drink is the same. To drink mm -hmm. is the same. Drinking, the same. Right, very good. That's Thank a good question. You. Thank you, Rene. Another one. Teacher, entonces, en el ejemplo del que dice what you see, what you need is to have a new phone, se podría cambiar uh, what you need is having a new phone. No, no. In this case, we're going to use uh, the infinitive. Okay. We're going to use the infinitive for these clauses. Yes. <laughs> You're watching Betty Lafayette. Yes, in this case, we're going to use infinitives. We're not going to use uh, ing's. Mm -hmm. um, teacher. Uh, the difference is that it does not add to in the verb. Uh, mm, well, repeat, repeat. Uh, the difference is that it does not add to. Yeah, the difference between two and that. And she and... He. O sea, la diferencia sería que no vamos a agregar el tú exactly. antes del verbo. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. In what clauses we do it, right? Uh -huh. We put it here, right? But with present progressive, we don't need it because we're describing other type of activities. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you. 
Thank you, Delmi. Very good for your observation. Thank you. Anybody else? Anybody? I think that yesterday we just no needed question. to complete. Yeah. No question. No question. Oh, okay. I thought you said a question. Okay. So we're going to do this exercise. Here, we're going to go to page 12. Go to page 12 on your book. Page 12. Okay. Here. On page 12, we have these exercises. Select the best expression from the table in section four. So we do you remember these phrases from yesterday, section four? Right? So what we're doing right now is that we're going to combine them, right? So it says, my best friend just opened his own shop, right? Now we're going to use right now one of these phrases, right? One of these phrases to complete here, right? We're gonna match them. We're gonna connect the phrases in these spaces. So which one do you think is the best right now? My best friend just opened his own shop. What is the best option? What you need was open it in a good mall. What I would do was open it in a good mall. What my friend did was open it in a good mall. What do I have to put? Which is the best option? Option one. Option option one. Option what two. What my friend did. Three or four. Okay. What my friend did. That is correct. Thank you. That is correct. Right. What my friend did was open it in a good mall. In this case, look at this. We have did, which is the past, right? So we have also did here. We have past and past, right? It has to match with the tenses as well, right? Now, look at the others and tell me what the answers could be. Do the other three. Mm -hmm. Tell me when you're ready. Teacher, yes. uh, number, number four. Mm -hmm. People don't buy new products because they can't. Uh, what I'm saying is there is no demand. Okay. What I'm saying. Saying is. That there is no demand. Thank you so much. Thank you, that is correct too. So we have only two left, guys. Teacher. Yes. Mm, well. <clears throat> Pero en sí, ¿qué vamos a hacer en la número cuatro? ¿En no número cuatro? En la número cuatro, porque ahí dice, híjole, traduciéndola, ahí dice, ¿qué cláusulas son, son a menudo al sujeto del okay, verbo? Ok, Oscar, 
Eh, and, and I'm sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't know how you have been working uh, before. I'm going to switch to, to Spanish right now. Okay? Yo definitivamente les puedo dar la clase en español. Okay? Ahí va a depender de ustedes. ¿Verdad? Pero traducir la clase, eh, de verdad, créanme que no les va a ayudar en nada a, a mover o a, a avanzar en inglés. Cuando lleguen al, in, al intermedio, que va a ser la fase eh, dentro de una, un módulo más, porque el otro es eh, principiante 6, si yo les doy la clase eh, en, en español, van a seguir igual, que no van a mejorar tanto, ¿ok? Eso definitivamente se los aseguro. Lo puedo hacer si ustedes así lo solicitan. Explicarles en español y ustedes van viendo cómo son las estructuras eh, en inglés. No les puedo traducir todo porque no soy traductora. Okay. Puedo tratar de interpretarles un poquito de lo que dice en español. Mi español es salvadoreñísimo, o sea, yo lo voy a decir palabras salvadoreñas porque también, ¿verdad? Eh, pero si ustedes gustan, yo les doy la clase en español o un poquito de Spanglish, como ustedes prefieran, ¿verdad? Y ahí me van a disculpar si se me van de aquí para allá unas palabras eh, raras que no me entiendan, ahí me, ahí, me, ahí me dicen también. Ustedes deciden, díganme ahorita. Para que ustedes se sientan cómodos, porque no sé, no, permítanme aquí, jefe, ok. Porque eh, para que ustedes se sientan cómodos y vayan avanzando eh, y quedamos todos contentos. O sea, por lo menos yo estoy dando guía. Yo, es que yo siento de que no es tanto así, teacher, sino de que yo le entiendo su posición, créame. Yo de mi parte he tratado, o sea, yo no sé los demás, claro, aquí pueden haber varios que tienen mucho más experiencia que uno, ¿verdad? Y sabe más. Uh -huh. este, yo de mi parte estoy tratando mucho de quererle poner, a, este, entenderle, pero sinceramente me está costando mucho. Este... El, par de profe el profesor que tuvimos anterior, un profesor anteriormente, o sea, yo estoy en todo, este, usted es el profesor, usted, usted sabe cómo lo va a hacer, hágalo todo en inglés como usted crea, pero yo siento de que quizás, ¿verdad? Ya lo último, no sé, este, decir, vaya, miren, esto es así, o, o, o como usted crea, no lo sé, ¿verdad? Pero este, yo quizás no soy el único que no está entendiendo por lo que veo. Yo pienso, oh, oh. Eh, si puedo dar mi opinión, Ajá. yo pienso que, este, pues para ser, mire, para serle sincero, yo sí realmente me siento un poco cómodo como lo estamos haciendo, porque eh, realmente si uno no se, se, se aclimata algo a la fuerza al inglés, no vamos a pasar de lo mismo. ¿no? Entonces, yo quizás lo que pienso, teacher, es que podríamos continuar así como viene usted dando la clase, pero también debería de auxiliar en algún momento a los compañeros que se queden, ¿verdad? Así como, como sucedió ahorita. Ni modo, los compañeros, si alguno no entendió, le tocaría a usted explicarle, como dice así en, en español, ahí en mezcla de inglés. Mezcla de inglés, español. Es que, para que capten qué es lo que se está haciendo en Bye. la actividad. Pero realmente, si no nos... Si no nos habla en inglés, o sea, la clase no sería de inglés. Entonces, como que algo de las cucharadas a la fuerza nos va a tocar, pero si no es así, no vamos a aprender. Bye, yo, haga, muchas gracias eh, a todos por su comentario. Gracias, Marlon. Hagamos algo. Voy a seguir dando mi clase en inglés. Les voy a explicar las partes eh, de gramática que ustedes consideren más difíciles. Un poquito en, en Spanglish, español y inglés. ¿okay? Pero necesito que cuando vayamos a practicar lectura, que yo les diga read or uh, pronounce this word, también necesito que vayan, ir, que vayan practicando su pronunciación, ¿ok? O cuando se equivoquen y les diga repeat, 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 hasta que lo hagan bien, también lo vamos a ir haciendo, ¿ok? Para ir practicando. Vamos a ir haciendo lo más posible de, de, de inglés y les vamos a explicar. Bye. Ahora, ¿qué son las what clauses? Las what clauses, eh, eh, compañeros, ¿qué son? Las vamos a utilizar, las what clauses son pedazos de oración, no son oraciones completas en inglés. Quiere decir que no son preguntas. 
Pero mira, Silvia, empiezan con what. Y las preguntas empiezan con what. Chivísimo, empiezan con what. Pero no nos van a servir de preguntas. ¿Ok? En este caso, las what clauses en inglés también se llaman relative clauses. Y las podemos poner en, bar, en varias posiciones dentro de la oración. Las podemos poner como sujeto, como objeto, nunca como verbo, porque no funcionan como verbo. En este caso, nosotros las estamos practicando como sujeto de la oración. ¿okay? Y como el sujeto más simple, lo estamos utilizando como estamos en principiante, lo estamos utilizando como sujeto más el verbo. ¿Cuál verbo? El verbo to be. ¿eh? El verbo to be que es el que vamos a utilizar. Ahora, ¿por qué utilizamos siempre el verbo to be eh, con la conjugación is y no are eh, y no am? Primero, no podemos utilizarlo con am porque am solamente se utiliza con el sujeto I, que significa yo, I, I. Entonces, definitivamente am fuera de la lista. ¿okay? No lo vamos a utilizar con are porque are se utiliza para they, we, en you, en plural. ¿Okay? En este caso, cuando utilizamos what you need, por decir algo, lo que tú necesitas o lo que tú quieres, este no es un sujeto, no es they, no es we, no es you. Es una situación. ¿Okay? La, entonces, esa situación se, prácticamente se, se conectaría o suplantaría al sujeto it. ¿Ok? It. Pero no, aquí no lo vamos a utilizar it. Vamos a utilizar la clause, que sería la what clause. ¿Okay? Entonces tenemos la clause más el, la conjugación del verbo to be is más el complemento. ¿Okay? Ahora, después del complemento o después del verbo to be en nuestro complemento, pone, podemos tener cualquier tipo de frases, eh, sustantivos, fra, phrases, nouns, que son sustantivos, o podemos tener infinitivos. ¿Okay? ¿Cuáles son los infinitivos? Los infinitivos son aquellos que van o que comienzan con la preposición to plus the verb in the base form. To drink, to sleep, to read, to turn off the microphone, Reina. Okay. <laughs> to, to, uh, to listen, right? Esos son infinitivos. Okay. Los infinitivos, como decía René, Okay. No significa que vamos a cambiar el significado, lo vamos a mantener el significado del verbo. Pero a veces los infinitivos nos, nos dicen que es una actividad, no una acción. Okay. Hay diferencia. El verbo solo, cuando yo digo drink, drink coffee, es una actividad. Okay. Es una acción. Pero si yo le digo, oh, she likes to drink coffee, ahí es una actividad. Okay. En este caso... En estas específicas eh, eh, clases vamos a tenerlos como actividad. Por eso se llaman infinitives or, o infinitivos. ¿okay? Creo que esa sería la traducción a español, o infinitivos. Ahora también podemos tener frases. Por ejemplo, la que empieza ahí con that. Right? What Susana eh, understand is that uh, makeup is perfect for her face, right? Is that. Entonces empezamos con that, right? That creo que lo podríamos decir algo como que, right? Lo que ella entiende es que, right? Es que. Now, that's what we could understand about that. Ahora, ¿entendemos un poquito qué son las what clauses? Sí? Perfect. Yep. Okay. Now, those are the what clauses, right? Now, we're going to see here. Eh, Mauricio, what we're doing is we are moving this one, two, three, four here in number five. Okay, estamos prácticamente utilizando estas cuatro y estamos pasándolos aquí a ver cuál pega mejor, okay, cuál se conecta mejor a cada una de las oraciones que estamos haciendo. Okay, we did number one, right? And Laureana did number four. Right. What would you do in number two and three? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta de las dos y las tres? Teacher. Yes. The number two. Yeah. Many people want to start their own business. Uh -huh. Business. Ocho business. Uh -huh. Ocho 
what what I would do. Uh -huh. What I would do. What I would do mm -hmm. is lots of information. Okay. Here is incorrect actually. Here is to promote. To promote. Este cámbienlo, por favor, aquí en el libro está malo. Is to promote. Un momento. Okay. What would you do in number three? Teacher. Mm -hmm. eh, number este, one. Mm -hmm. en, en, la en la número dos, yo había puesto que era what you need. Porque what está diciendo. Is? Eh, Ajá, is, is lots of information. O sea, lo que tú necesitas es mucha información. What I would, exactly. So, in this case, we're going to put it here. And what do we have in number two? Eh, many I, people, uh -huh. Uh -huh. sería many people want to start their own business. Eh, what you need? Eh, it's lots, lots of information. Lots of information. Very good. Very good. And this one change it, please. This one is not correct. This one is not correct. Now, do you have questions about vocabulary, pronunciation of these four examples? Vocabulary, meaning, anything? No? Tienen alguna pregunta? No, teacher. No questions? Okay. Now, okay. let's go ahead and continue then. Give me one moment. Did you copy the answers? Copy the answers, please. No. Moment, moment. Okay. Tell me when you're ready to continue because we need to continue. Mm -hmm. No, this is not correct. Okay, and here we are. Pam, pam, pam. Cha la 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 la. Pam, pam, pam. Ready? Finish. You finish? Yes. Okay. Very good. Okay. Now let me put it here. We are going to work right now with another topic, right? Very, very easy. Actually, I think, I think if I'm not mistaken, you practice this topic with Principiante 2, right? Or Principiante 3, I'm not sure. So this is gonna be easier for you. Today, we're going to work with infinitives, okay? With uh, imperatives, right? But first, I want you to look at this picture, right? Look at this picture. Can you see the, the picture there? Yes, teacher. Can you see the picture? Okay, very yes. good. What can you see in the picture? What can you see? Um... Mm -hmm. Soda. Soda. Okay. We see soda right here. I think it's soda. Coffee. Coffee. Beer. Coffee. Beer. Where? Where? <laughs> Where? Beer, micheladas. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what? Bread. 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 We bread. see bread. Coffee. We see a dessert, cake. a cake, mm -hmm. coffee. Right? Coffee. Okay. Very good. Green Do tea. you know what? Green tea. Green tea, right? Probably yeah. this is green tea. I think it's yeah. matcha, right? Right. Very uh -huh. good. So in this Coffee case, ice. do you know any of these brands or do you know where to buy these things? What is the name of this, of this brand? Starbucks. Starbucks, okay. Too expensive, right? Overrated. No, so my sister what about this one? Do you know it? Coffee cup. Yeah, and what about this? Oh, this one doesn't have any, right? Now, my house. <laughs> my house, <laughs> which is better, right? Which one do you prefer? 
Which one do you prefer? Number three. Right? Coffee. Coffee? Number three. Number three. <laughs> Coffee Number and, three. Coffee and, and bread. Coffee and bread. And it's inexpensive. Mario, ¿por qué me está manchando la pizarra? Mario Alexander. ¿Por qué? Dígame. Me mancha la pizarra. Okay. <laughs> now, we have here, right? Y sigue, mire. Mario. ¿Qué es ese quieto? ¿Qué es ese quieto? Quiere que le haga preguntas, dice. Chao. <laughs> no. Now, which one do you prefer? Nelson says that he prefers this, right? Number three. Okay, number three, right? The coffee in the house, right? With, uh, with bread from la tienda, right? And then we have coffee, musum, cafe listo, God. right? <laughs> yeah, that's what we got, right? Cos cafe, right? Juan Valdez. Abunda, a, abunda Juan Valdez. <laughs> Juan Valdez. <Muy> rico. <laughs> okay. Y, why why do you prefer more, number three? three? Why do you prefer number three? Yes. Why? Is is yeah um, it is more uh, comfortable. Three. Okay. Es más, es más cómodo. Oh, it's economic. It's because ah, economic. okay, it's economic. Very good. Uh -huh. Because. Okay. It is comfortable, comfortable. right more economic and comodo affordable. Comodo affordable. Cuando hablamos de comodo que lo podemos pagar, vamos a decir affordable. Algo affordable. que podemos pagar. Por ejemplo, this one, Tommy. Yes, it's affordable. From it's, it's from the market. It's del mercado. Right? It's affordable. It's five dollars. Right, but sometimes it's, if you go to, to, to San Salvador, right, to La Gran Vía, it's not affordable. It's like a hundred dollars. So, cuando lo, no, cuando lo pueden pagar, it's affordable, cómodo. Affordable. Affordable, right? Because it's more economic and affordable. Carlos Maria Vendaño, which one do you prefer? Number one, two, or three? All of them. All of them. <laughs> Why? Mm, because all of, all of this is, mm, I like it. Okay. I right. enjoy every one of them. And I don't buy all the time coffee cup or something like that. But when I can, once at a time, I do. Mm -hmm. You buy them. Why, yes. why, why do you buy a Starbucks? Tell me. Uh, curiosity. Okay, because I am curious. Very good. Because I <sighs> am curious. Very good. Because of curiosity, right? Sometimes they say that Starbucks is really good. They have a lot of flavors, right? Mocha, Nutella. Oh. In fact, I, uh -huh. I try one time since mm -hmm. the markets in, in the in this country okay one time only okay because some friends make a reunion in the place okay they have been in the country very good right because my friends right did a reunion or meeting mm. in that place, right? Cool. Very good. That's a very good reason, right? In that place. Susana, which one do you prefer? Number three. Number because three. It's more, it's more delicious. Definitely it's, it's more delicious. Okay, because definitely, <clears throat> right? Because definitely it's more delicious. Right, sometimes, yes, yes, that's correct. Very good. So what else do you look at when you, you see price, right? You see price, you see taste, how it tastes, is delicious 
or sometimes it's like disgusting, too sweet. For example, Starbucks is very, very sweet, right? The coffee cup is really good, right? The coffee cup is really good. So when we choose, when we select one, two, or three, we take a decision, right? Based on everything, right? Cuando, cuando decidimos seleccionar una opción right, o un producto, tomamos en cuenta diversos factores, right? If it's economic, right? If it's affordable, if it's delicious, right? Because our friends like it, right? Because I am curious because of the marketing, right? Si está curioso porque ya lo vio, ya lo escuchó, quiere saber de qué se trata, right? And then you decide if you like it or not. Very good. Now we're going to talk about that right now. Look at this question that I have for you. Look at this question. All right? Marlon, can you read question number one? And Ana Mercedes, can you read question number two? <clears throat> What is the first thing you pay attention when to when buying a product? Okay. Ana Mercedes, can you read question number two? Okay. What is the most important thing for you? Important thing for you. For example, look at this woman. Sorry. Right. Look at this woman, right? She is in the supermarket, right? She's buying things here. Let me make it bigger, right? What is she thinking about that paper? She has a paper. Right? This is a paper. What, fresh. what is she? If it's fresh, okay. So the first thing is, oh, is it fresh? Because it's a vegetable, right? It's a vegetable, so is, is it fresh? What else can you th do you think she's thinking of? Uh, price, maybe. Price, okay, very good. Very good, price, if it's fresh. What else? Color and consistency. Okay, very good. The color. The color, yes, I like red papers very. El tamaño, teacher, ¿cómo se dice en inglés? The size. Okay, the size, size. el tamaño, the size. size. Okay, very good. The right? size. The size. So there are different things that you can think of when you are buying a product, right? Now, what are you going to do? You're going to work in groups of three, okay? So let's see here. Number one, work in trios, right? Number two, select a product, any product, a vegetable, a computer, coffee, pupusas, I don't know, many things, right? Many products that you have, right? Number three, right? Answer the two questions. Which questions, Sylvia? These questions, right? Answer the two questions and then share your answers with the class. This is what we're gonna do, right? First, you are going to work in trios. One, two, three, okay? Then you will think or select a product, any product, right? Then you will answer the two questions, number one and number two. And then you will share your answers with the class. Right? Is it clear what you're gonna do? ¿Se entiende lo que van a hacer? Yes. yes. Yes, okay. Yes. Very good. Which product you are going to select your product? Cualquier producto que ustedes piensen, okay? Yo les presenté dos, cafés, eh, vegetales, anything that you want. Productos de su empresa, right? It could be products from your, from your company. Si fueran productos de mi empresa, les dijera, ah, clases de Excel, clases de inglés, clases de Word, de PowerPoint. Esos son nuestros productos, right? So, 
¿Por qué los elegirían? That's what we, what we need to know. Right? ¿Qué es importante? ¿Qué se le debe poner atención? ¿Y qué es importante para ustedes cuando compran ese producto? Right? Cuando compran ese producto. So, let's go ahead and work in groups. Vamos a trabajar en equipos. Uh, we're going to work in... Oh, pero permita. Hacemos un alto, pasamos asistencia. Un momento. Eh, let's start here. Ah, okay. Thank you, Jose Meneses. Ana Mercedes Amaya Corado. Present. Andrea Laureana Vázquez Martínez. Present. Carlos Mario Vendaño. Present, teacher. Carlos René Rivas López. Present, teacher. Carmen René Calderón de Vázquez. Present, teacher. Delmi Guadalupe Gómez Landa Verde. Present. Edgar Gonzalo Chacón Alvarado. Elsa Merina de Villeda. Francisco Nehemia Godínez Urquilla. Present. Helen Dionelli Barraza de Jerez. Present, teacher. José Daniel Meneses Bolaños. Present, teacher. Kevin Vladimir Gutiérrez Castillo. Present, teacher. Marlon Balmoris Doña Rodríguez. Present. Maurestel Orante Fernández. Nelson Domínguez Díaz Alas. Present. Oscar Mauricio Montenegro. Presente. Reina Margarita Martínez de Castillo. Present. Roxana Elizabeth Méndez Melara. Rubén de Jesús Campos Gómez. Presente. Susana Esmeralda Jiménez de Nieto. Present. No, todavía no lo hemos cambiado, lo vamos a cambiar. Mario no, Alexander Arteaga favor. Campos. Here. Diana Carolina Guevara Ortiz. Claudia Carolina Ventura Canales. Ok, so let's start. Let us start working here. We have six groups. Right. Let's get to work. Traten de participar todos en el equipo. A veces solo uno o dos están participando. Traten de participar todos. Utilicen el chat. A veces nosotros perdemos tiempo por estar dictando. Utilicen el chat para escribir sus su respuestas y que sus compañeros vayan anotando también. Let's go. El chat solo lo ven ustedes cuando están en los grupos. No lo ve nadie más. Solo ustedes. Y yo, ¿verdad? Pero solo ustedes. Vamos. Vamos. Seleccionen su equipo, por favor. Nemías, Mario, Noé, por favor, seleccionen su equipo. Hacia la... Creo que no, porque no me he venido a traer todavía. No he llegado okay. a casa. Deje lo que él esté de oyente y ustedes dos trabajan en el equipo. Ok. okay. No puede chocar por ahí el muchacho. Ustedes, ustedes eh, trabajan y el que vaya oyendo. Ok. Ok. Thank you, guys. Eh, I don't know. Me... I, I sell medicine. Okay. The, some of them. Two options, cell phone and medicine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the question number one, the first thing to pay attention to your end point pro. In the case of cell phone, mm -hmm. um, what is the first thing you pay attention when you're buying the product? Mm. Uh, the brand. The first thing. Do you have question, guys? Mm, no. No. 
No questions? Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. See you in a moment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Es sólida. Cuando se le pega, eh, está bien jugosa. Ya va a ver, haga la prueba. Sí, cabal, correcto. Vamos a hacer la prueba. Vaya. Es alcohol. Ese tipo de cosas. Ah, bueno. Um, así Los dos están okay, buenos pero... porque. Bueno, en lo mío solo es atomizadores, más que todo lo que se ven son atomizadores, atomizadores, los guantes desechables, que es lo que está de moda. Podemos seleccionar alguna ventana entonces, por decir algo. Y hay, de, de lo, de lo que... hay de varias medidas. ¿Tienes preguntas, Sorry eh, to interrupt bueno, you. No. Perdón, no, ahorita estábamos seleccionando el producto. Ok, perfecto, perfecto. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. See you in a moment. Okay. Okay. Vaya, entonces podemos seleccionar alguna ventana, no sé, ¿qué piensa usted? Okay. O algo, ajá, porque hay, vaya, las que se conocen son las ventanas sol aire, que usted las ha visto, ¿verdad? Sí. Las ventanas sol aire, las ventanas francesas. Ok, ventanas. A, a, ¿A usted cuáles le gusta más, las ventanas sol aire o las francesas? Fíjate que en los solares eh, entra más viento. Ajá. Entra más, más brisa. Y en la francesa, la otra, tú la corres solo una parte. Sí. Y la otra Hola. No, te, no entra nada. Ahí está Kevin. Sí. Hola, buenas ¿Qué noches. Tal, Kevin? Buenas, buenas, noches. Noches. buenas noches, compañeros. Hola. Buenas noches. Hey, estamos tratando de seleccionar ahí un producto. Un Kevin. producto. Sí, es que yo la verdad recién acabo de trabajar, como me cambiaron el horario y solo me conecté a clase y me fue a poner una camisa, y, pero ya estoy aquí con todo. Está bien. <ríe> está bueno, está bueno. Vaya, entonces, ahí vean si seleccionamos algo así, no sé. Podemos seleccionar una ventana, de, de nuestra empresa. Sí. Ajá. Yo trabajo con productos farmacéuticos. Uh -huh. Vaya, fíjate que yo pienso que para que se nos haga más fácil, seleccionemos una ventana. Ajá. Ok. Estaba, estaba hablando con, estaba hablando con, con Jorge, ¿verdad? Ah, con ¿Sí? Mauricio. Mauricio, perdón. <ríe> estaba hablando con Mauricio que, que sobre las ventanas, Ajá. como las, las más conocidas son las ventanas al aire, ¿verdad? Y la ventana francesa. Entonces, ¿Qué es lo primero que se fija? En? Vaya, Mauricio se fija en que hay más ventilación en, sí. en la ventana sol aire. ¿verdad? Mm. Pues yo pienso que, el, bueno, en mi opinión, la mayoría de personas se fija por el estilo y por el modelo de las ventanas. No. Sí, también. Porque si son bonitas, solo se las llevan y ya. Bueno, al menos. No, y, y, Ajá. Y, eso, y eso te iba a decir. Y le iba a decir a, a Mauricio, mucha gente, eh, la, a mucha gente la apantallan con venderle una ventana francesa, porque es corrediza, sí, y porque sí. aparentemente es bien bonita, y como de esas casi, la mayor, poca gente tiene, digamos, ¿verdad? Ah, bueno. Entonces, podríamos decir que lo primero que uno ve en el producto es el estilo, sí, y el, el estilo. diseño, podríamos, el estilo y el diseño, podríamos. entonces, pongámoslo acá. Estilo y diseño. Uh -huh. estilo. El estilo y el diseño. Eso es lo primero que uno ve. Pero había otra. ¿Cuál era la otra pregunta, Kevin? ¿Te acordás? Sinceramente no voy a ver en el chat. Ajá, mira. Que la otra pregunta, no me recuerdo cuál era. La primera sí. ¿Cuál es la más importante? por yo trabajo en trigo porque como ahí están las cuatro opciones que vamos a hacer la seleccionar un producto y contestar las dos preguntas podemos poner algo de comida ajá como que carne no pollo o Pizza. 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 O las tres. Uh 
<risa> Pizza, digo yo. <risa> Caemos en lo mismo, tamaño Ajá. y precio. <risa> tamaño y precio. Ajá, caemos en lo mismo. ¿Dónde las compran también? Where to buy it? For example, if you buy pizza, where do you prefer ah, the sí. pizza from? I don't like no, pizza. Pero... You don't like pizza? No. Delicious, delicious. No, Why? hamburger. Hamburger. Delicious. Okay, hamburger. Yes, yes. Hamburger. Which is which Number is your one. which is your favorite hamburger? My my favorite hamburger in Sonsonate is eh, eh, pollo pollo campero. Pollo campero is hamburger. Oh, do do no. they have pollo campero? They have a What? piece of a piece of pollo, pollo campero. La pechuga pollo le pone. Pollo campero, hamburguesa <laughs> de pollo. Mm, nice. And what about you, Nelson? Wendy's. Wendy's, yes. But I like the one with the uh, with bacon, con tocino. Uh, yes. What do you call? I don't uh, like Wendy's. I, 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 I like um, hamburger with um, cooking to me. With cooking to you, what do you mean? Yes. ¿Cómo así? <laughs> Las que yo cocino para mí. Ah, the ones that you cook for you, uh huh? For homemade hamburgers. Al, al, cam, hechas, al carbón. Hechas en la casa. Homemade. Al carbón, asadas. Uh -huh. Casi quemadas. No, sí. asadas. Homemade hamburgers. Así va a decir, I like homemade hamburgers. Hechas en casa. Homemade. Cuando es algo homemade. hecho en casa. Yes. Cuando algo es hecho en casa, dice homemade. Aplica para todo. Comida, ropa, anything. Ok. ¿Ya casi termina? Yes, sí. Es el último, yes. estamos. Ok, perfect, perfect. So, I Pero see you in a moment. Aún nos falta hacer las preguntas. Ah, solo han seleccionado. <risa> solo hemos seleccionado los, los productos. Ok, ok. So, I see you in a moment. Ok, guys. Okay. Satisfaction. Satisfaction. Ah. Ahí, ahí la escribí. Purchase satisfaction. Okay. Purchase. Correct. Okay. Para mí, para mí, bueno, primero que me fijo es si la compro o no, es el precio. Sí, sí, la verdad que. Y con eso, con eso decido. Si vale la pena lo otro. The price. Sí. Entonces sería. The price. No, the price. Uh -huh. What? Do you have a question, guys? No, finish. Finish, okay, perfect. What is your product? It's It's shirt. What? <laughs> it's a t-shirt. A t-shirt, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, it's a t-shirt. Okay, so what kind of t-shirt? Tell me. I don't understand, teacher. What kind of t-shirt? Okay. Eh, mm -hmm. Camiseta. Una camiseta, ajá. Ajá. But what do you have? ¿Qué tipo de camisetas? What kind of t-shirts? No pensamos en eso. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sí, no okay. me... ¿Y cómo va a comparar sus productos? Solo con una camiseta. 
Ajá. ¿Qué van a hacer? Cuéntenme. Es que, es que nosotros lo que hicimos es, vaya, elegimos un producto y contestamos Ajá. las dos preguntas. Las dos okay. preguntas. Ajá. Pero solo de un producto, solo ah. de la camisa. Ajá. Sí. Ok, dígame qué contestaron, vamos a ver. Vaya. Eh, la, la, what is the first thing you pay attention to when buying a product? A, a t-shirt. Eh, the color, the size, the quality, the design, and the price. And two, what is the most important thing for you? Um, I have to like this shirt. It, it has to look, look good on me and it has to be the right size. Okay, it has to be good with you. It has to be the right size. What else? Only that? Only price? That. Okay, perfect. Yeah, you can give your answers like that. Very good. So let's go. Vámonos. Vámonos todos ya. Creo que tenemos enough time. Solo nosotras estamos. Hello guys, welcome back. We are going to listen right now to Andrea and Delmi, okay? I like their answer. So they are going to tell us first, what is your product? Then question number one, and then question number two, okay? Everyone, please pay attention to them. The product is t-shirt. T-shirt, okay. T-shirt. Sure. What is the first thing to pay attention to when buying a product? The color, the size, the quality, the sign, and price. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Uh, question number two. What is the most important thing for you? Uh, I have to like t-shirt. I has to look good, good on me and it has to be the right size. It has to be the right size. Very good. So Delmi and Andrea, please write the answers on the chat so your classmates can see your answers. Okay. okay. It, the pronunciation is t-shirt. 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 Because if not, you're saying teacher. I am a teacher. I am not a t-shirt. Right? T-shirt. Okay. Very good, thank you. Now let's listen to Kevin's group. Kevin's. Okay, the product is a window. A window. Uh, the first question is, what is the first thing you pay attention to when buying a product? I think that this the model um, or design or design for me okay for you for me okay and what okay. about the others Other mm -hmm. or one of your classmates yes, who was I'm with you Marlon. kevin marlon okay Yo marlon Continue. Thank you, Kevin. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, with the question number two, teacher. Or yeah. okay. And um, what what is the most important thing for you? Uh, um, we think that the most important thing uh, of the product of the windows, uh, it can be. The, the ventilation, así lo encontramos, ventilar, ventilación, uh -huh. and the yeah, design, and the price, of course. Okay. It's a combination of 
of func functionality. Así se dice. Functionality, yes. Functionality <laughs> and design and aesthetic. Aesthetic? Aesthetic. Así sería. Aesthetic, and, yes. Uh, the, and the price. And the price. Very yeah. good. The price is always a factor. Very good, Kevin. Of, of Very good, Marlon. Thank you so much for the information on your group. Write the answers in the chat, please. The product is a t-shirt. Okay. Uh, are you writing, Delmi and Andrea, the answers on, on the chat? Yep. Okay, good, good. Susana's group, what you got? Okay. And the product is instant soup. Mm -hmm. uh, question number one. Instant what soup. Like soup of mine? soup. No. Okay. No. Maruchan. Maruchan. Oh, Maruch. <laughs> Oof, delicious. Delicious. Uh -huh. Okay. What is the first thing you pay attention to when buying a product? Uh, the size mm -hmm. and the price. Okay. Eh, no sé si Rubén o, o de otro chico va a decir la pregunta número dos. Mi. Nemi, es ok. Yes. Eh, okay, the, what is the most important thing for you? Um, for me, is the mark and amount. Ok. The mark, the brand, like uh, Maruchan. Like, what are the other brands? Brand. brand. Lucky. Marca, Lucky. Okay, brand. Misopita. Misopi. Ay, misopi. <laughs> Sopi. Brand, marca. Okay. Brand, okay. Marca. For example, my computer is, the brand is Lenovo, and the other one is HP. Right? Brand. Brands. Marcas. Right? Yeah. Right, very good, Nemi, yes. Let's see Margaritas, Margaritas group. What's, what do you have? Um, mm -hmm. A product, um, mm -hmm. buildings, a product, sí, cell phone product, no a mark, memory con, spend, con la máquina, con la a compact, Capacity y the camera. And the camera, ok. Eh, Margarita, marca se dice brand, así como está en el chat. Que cámbialo ahí en su, en su, en su información. Ok. Ok. The brand, ok. And what is the best brand for you, Margarita? Hello. What is the best brand for you? Um, is it uh -huh. Samsung? Uh -huh. Is it Xiaomi? Um, Huawei? What is um, it? My cell phone is LG. Okay. Is that good for you? Is uh, the best? Yes. Okay. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Very good. Uh -huh. Now let's listen uh -huh. to Renee's group. Carmen Renee. Eh, ok, yo iba con Margarita. Ah, ok. Yes, the other product, teacher. The other product. Oh, the other oh. question. Oh, the other question. Ok, go. <laughs> uh, ¿Cuál? Yeah, the other product. If you have okay. another product, yes. Yes, the other product is a uh, uh, Rhino Flu. Rhino Flu. <laughs> ok. They are in okay. the group with me and we choose one of... Uh, the products we sell. That's perfect. That sounds great. Mm -hmm. Okay. Rhino flu. It sounds like something for COVID. Yes. Uh, uh, Antigripal. Okay. Similar. Good. Okay. Yeah. Tell us. Tell us more. Okay. The question number one What is the first thing to pay attention to when buying a product? Um, composition, concentration, okay. the brand, expiration date. Uh, the right effectives. Okay, the effectiveness. Okay, ah, effectiveness. la efectividad. The effectiveness. Let me put it here. The effect. The effectiveness. 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 La efectividad. Right. Okay. Very good. Very good. Thank you. And question number two, Carlos, are you going to share the question number two? 
for another uh, product. Uh, yes, for this product, uh -huh. uh, we both uh, says uh, the composition. The composition, okay. That is important for you. Yes, because uh, the ingredients is get, get to be uh, specific for one result. For one flu. So I am going to buy Rhino flu in the future. Okay. Very you gotta good. You got to try it. <laughs> I got to try it. Very good. Thank you, Mario. Excellent. Okay. So let's see. Who else is missing? Daniel Meneses. Did you? No, Daniel is doing something else. Let's see. Noe Carrillo. Okay, teacher. Uh, the product is apples. Uh, the 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 mat the what is mature? Uh, that is good condition in the size in the price. Uh, what is the first thing for you? Pay attention uh, to when buying product is the and the quality, see the good condition in the size, in the price. Okay, good condition, size, and price. Okay, okay. very good. No, eh? Now, just let's practice here. Apples. Okay? Apples. 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 Very good. Perfect. Apples. And Rene, did you already pass? Did, did you finish with your group? Carlos Rene? Ya pasó su group? Yes, yes. Uh, I work, uh, I work uh, uh, with uh, Noé, with Ana Mercedes. Okay, perfect. Thank you, René. Ya pasó el equipo. ¿Solo, solo hablaron de los apples? Uh, yes. Uh, Okay. Eh, 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 era un producto. One product. One product. Okay. Perfect. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you. ¿Quién más falta? ¿Quién no ha participado? ¿Ya todos los grupos participaron? ¿Sí? ¿Oscar? Mi teacher. Ok. Go falta, ahead. Falta otro grupo también. El, ok. Bueno, mi grupo ya pasó, pero hablamos de la, habló de la ventana, pero uh, my my product in me, my company is a, uh, is otro, como se dice otro? Other. Other is important for me, a tomato, a tomato. Okay. A tomato uh, is important, um, important is, Important, como le digo en inglés. Is in value, the product is more, 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 more comfortable. Ok. ¿Cómo dijimos que se decía que era, que era de un precio económico en inglés? Ah, affordable. Affordable, exacto. Affordable. affordable. Cámbialo ahí. Affordable. Okay, perfect. Cámbielo. Excellent, Oscar. Thank you Thank so you. much. Y atomizador, vamos a decir aromizer. Aromizer. Como que fuera transformer. Aromizer. Aromizer. Okay. Aromizer. Very good. Atomizador. Aromizer. Creo que es psh, psh, psh. Para que se quede. Ajá. Thank you. Estos, right? Aromizers. Very yeah. good. Now, we're going, to, uh, we're going to listen to Dominguez Group. Right. Let's see. Okay. The the first product is um, smart TV. Um, okay. The important size, small, medium, big. On second price, and three brown. The last is function. Okay. The function. Okay. And what is the best for you? What is the best smart TV for your group, Nelson? Uh, excuse me. What is the best uh, uh, smart TV for your group? Uh, the best or 
I'm Sonny. Sonny, okay, Sonny, very good. Do you have another product? Another product? Uh, oh, pizza. Pizza, okay. Tell us oh, about pizza. A play on price and sign. The best pizza um, hat, uh, Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut, okay. Pizza Hut, very good. Uh, and the question, mm -hmm. uh, what does Smart TV want to eat in Christmas? Okay, <laughs> it's the best, okay, very good. Thank you so much, Dominguez. So I think everyone participated, todos participaron. Sí, todos los equipos, no todos los participantes, todos los equipos, sí, ok, perfecto. Vamos a continuar acá. Right, we're going to continue here with our class. Right, and we are going to go right now to the book. Ok, we're going to go to the book. In the book, we will see a conversation, right? Right, we just finished this exercise, exercise five. We already share our products. Right, so let's go to the conversation here. Right, we have a conversation between Miss Nunez and Mr. Roland, right? So let's listen to this. It's very important you pay attention to pronunciation, okay? Let's start, right? Hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Miss Nunez, and I am going to explain what you must do in the product line. Nice to meet you, Miss Nunez. Where do we start? First, you are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Please push this red button. Second, grab a pair of tongs. Okay, P please put your microphones off. Okay, thank you. Uh, second, grab a pair of tongs and pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart and check every piece. Make sure each meets the specifications in this chart. Third, place the defective chocolate in this funnel. Finally, fill in a report at the end of the date about the defective pieces okay now what we're going to do we are not going to read only the conversation because it's too long right for one person but we are going to read sentences okay sentences a sentence begins with the capital letter and it starts with the period okay vamos a leer por oraciones sobre todo esta parte okay no vamos a leer toda la conversación La, vamos a leer por oraciones. La oración comienza con mayúscula y termina en el punto, ya sea punto final o punto y aparte. ¿okay? No termina en coma, nada. Una, en este caso vamos a leer este párrafo. ¿okay? Let's start. First person, help me out with the reading, Marlon, until button. From first to button. Ok. First. You are in charge of stopping the con conveyor, conveyor, says mm -hmm. belt. Continue. Please, mm -hmm. push, please push this red button. Please push this red button. Thank you so much. Kevin, continue with second until chocolate. Okay, second. Grab a pair of tongs and pick every piece of chocolate. Okay, very good. Continue menaces from read to peace. Read this chart and check every piece. Okay, very good. Continue tell me from make to charge. Make sure it meets the specification in this chart in, in this chart in this chart, very good. Third, until funnel, uh, name is. 
Dear, 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 place the effective chocolate in this funnel. In this funnel. And thank you. And the last one, please, uh, Andrea. Finally, fill in a report at the end of the day about the defective piece. About the effective pieces. Pieces, very good, very good. So what are we doing here? What is Miss Nunez telling Mr. Roland? ¿Qué está pasando en esta conversación? ¿Qué le está diciendo Miss Nunez a Mr. Roland? What is going on? ¿Qué cree que está pasando? Ajá, Le Delby. Está dando instrucciones de su primer Listen. día de trabajo. Yes, Susana. Very good. She is giving him instructions, right? She is giving him instructions on the first day at work, right? What kind of instructions, Susana? What kind of instruction? Oh. What mm. kind of instruction? Oh. Like, um, the, como lo que está a cargo, la producción, maybe. Okay, very good, right? The production, right? They're talking about the production, very good. So if you see, we are using here instructions, right? That's what we're talking about, right? We're talking about instructions. So for us to work on instructions right now, let's check here. One moment, this, right? Based on, based on this conversation, right? Let's answer this. Who is responsible for stopping the conveyor belt? What are some of Mr. Roland's responsibilities? What kind of machinery is there in your workplace? For example, in my workplace, the kind of machinery is computers, wipers, right? Radios for the listening. That's the machinery on my, on, my, on my workplace because we are teachers, right? We don't have something that is heavy. We have printers, right? That's it. But now let's answer these three questions, please, individually. Number one and number two is about this conversation. Number three is about you. It's about your workplace. La uno y la dos es acerca de la conversación. La tres es acerca de su lugar de trabajo. Okay. Veamos. Eh, vamos a hacerlo de forma individual. Let's do it. Individually. Individually. Dígame si tienen preguntas acerca del de vocabulario. Yes, teacher. Yes, uh -huh. uh, in the number one, uh -huh. the cover, cover jar. Con the conveyor belt, okay? Uh, conveyor. The conveyor belt. Uh, a belt conveyor. <sighs> Have you ever seen in the movies that they put, I don't know if that happens in the factories because I have never been to a factory. They put a product, right? They put a product here, right? Let's suppose here they have this product, right? So they sometimes they put like a line here. So in the first line, they have the product, right? Then the product starts moving. In the second, it stops and they put this, right? And it continues moving. In the third stop, they put it in the, in the box, right? And it comes moving to the end. Right, so I don't know how, how can I say this in Spanish? Es como una banda. Una banda donde van los productos y se van moviendo y van teniendo distintos cambios. Right? Cinta transportadora. What? Eh, eh, cinta transportadora. Okay, very good, cinta transportadora. Donde van teniendo los productos ciertos cambios. Hay una persona que está a cargo o una máquina que está a cargo de meterle una caja, de ponerle otra cosa, de ponerle un ping, etc. Right? That's a conveyor belt. 
Thank you, Rene. Thank you, Francisco. Okay. Did you answer the three questions? Cuando tenga las respuestas, escríbalas en el chat para ver si todos tenemos lo mismo. <coughs> Number one, Mr. Roland. Okay, good, that's a correct answer. What about number two? Tell me, do you have number two? Um, grab a pair of tongs. Okay. Grab a pair of tongs. Very good. Push the red button. Excellent name, yes. <laughs> Stop. The conveyor belt. Stop the conveyor belt. Stop. Pick every piece of chocolate. Very good. Dos, esas son dos, dos actividades. Muy bien. Ahora dígame de qué tipo de herramientas utilizan o maquinaria utilizan en sus lugares de trabajo. Número tres. Computers. Computers, uh -huh. printers, telephones, and a minibus. A minibus? Yes. Okay. Why do you use a minibus in your workplace? I don't know. Eh, repeat your question, Delmi. Repita su pregunta. I, I don't understand. ¿Por qué utiliza un minivan en su empresa? Ah, uh, uh, for... Uh, um, for uh, para entregar los medicamentos. Ok. Okay, very good. So let's continue, right? Now that we have these, these answers, we're gonna go and I want you to read something for me, okay? Vamos a leer algo. Right? We have this a small article that we're going to read. Tenemos este pequeño art, uh, artículo que... Right, it says, how to get a job in game design, right? How to get a job in game design. What you're going to do right now is just read, okay? Vamos a leer solamente. Vamos a tratar de comprender qué dice, qué dice esta información, okay? It's how to get a job in game design. Okay, vamos a leer. 
por favor, no escriban nada, pueden tomar la captura, está bien, pero vamos a leerlo, ¿ok? Vamos a tratar de entender qué dice. Okay. <coughs> Did you finish the reading? En la computadora y juegos populares. No. ¿Terminaron de leer? ¿Yes? No sé. Es dos minutitos de, de lectura. Right, rapidito. Kevin, what do you understand from this reading? Uh, don't play games all the time. Make them use your time to improve your skills. Okay. Very good. And what, why are you telling this? ¿Para qué estamos leyendo esto? Why are, we why are we, we reading this? Para tratar de entender lo que significa, el significado de español. Ok, ok, good. Kind of, yes. ¿De qué se trata la lectura? Yes, name is. Yes. Uh, computer game. Computer game. Se trata de juegos de computadora. Ok, so, so. Okay, uh, how to get a job in game design. Exactly. So I think that is for me, como obtener, obtener un empleo en diseño de videojuego o algo así. Yeah, kind of, yes. So. Yes. We are here, Lucas. Lucas is giving you advice. He's giving you instructions on how to get a job in game in game design, right? That's what he's doing, right? He's telling you, okay, do you want to work as a game designer? You have to follow these instructions, right? We have here one, two, three, four, five, oof, a lot of instructions, right? A lot of things that we have to do to get a job, right? To get a job. So, we have these instructions. Let's read the instructions right now. Marlon, read instruction number one. This okay. One. Don't play games all the time. Make them. Use your time to improve your skills. Very good. Thank you so much. Carlos, go with number two. Don't worry. Avendaño? Avendaño. Sorry, disculpen, <risa> no podía desbloquear el micrófono. Oh. <risa> the two? Yes, please. Okay. Don't worry about the college degree. Experience is more important. Thank you. Number three, Nemias. Show your work to other people. Listen today's advice. Okay, perfect. Nelson? Um, get experience with no. a team. Keep examples. Here uh, we are. Keep example of your work. Send them to a game company. 
Okay, thank you. Let's continue there, please, Andrea. Andrea. Perdón. Estaba leyendo con el micrófono apagado. <laughs> Get experience with a team. Volunteer to work at a company. At a company. Very good. Noé. Okay, teacher. Don't ask for a lot of money at your first job. Work hard. Work hard. Very good. So Lucas is telling us to do this, right? All of these activities so we can get a job, right? These are like instructions, like I said, right? And we are going to pay attention to this. Don't play, make them, don't worry, show, etc. okay? Now, these, these guys are examples of imperatives, okay? These are examples of imperatives. Right, but first I want you to do the following, right? Please take a screenshot of this. Take a screenshot. Okay. Then based on this, we are going to do exercise A, only exercise A, right? Exercise A. In exercise A, uh, Please help me, Ana Mercedes, read the instruction. Find and complete the sentence in the art, article mm -hmm. from exercise number one. Okay. Write the meaning words. Okay, write the missing words, very good. So we says here, games all the time, make them. Francisco, no me está manchando la pizarra. Sorry, sorry. Okay, it says here number one, games all the time. Make them. ¿Qué frase me le hace falta acá? What is missing? Don't play. Don't ¿Ah? play. Don't play games all the time. Make them. Very good. What about number two, three, four, five? Ya tienen la, la captura. Completen el ejercicio. Vamos a ver. Right. And then you give me the answers. The lista to her. Faltan seis minutos. En seis minutos puede haber muchas cosas. Un terremoto. Y podemos terminar este ejercicio. Calmado, Oscar. Ya, ya casi, ya casi. Yes, Kevin. What's up? Number two. Uh -huh. Don't worry about a colleague degree. Don't worry about about Don't, a, college. Oh, a college degree. What is a college, mm. Kevin? Mm, I don't know, teacher. Okay, look at it in the dictionary. ¿Qué es un college? Le voy a mandar un diccionario para que lo utilicen. Okay. Ya les mandé uno. Véanlo. Véanlo. Es number, number three. University. university. College is university. Very good. Thank you. Okay, number three. ¿Qué me está diciendo el número tres? Show. Show. Show what? Only show? Sí, show. Show your, your work. work on the other people. Okay, show your work to other to people. To other people. Very good. Number four. Keep. 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 Only keep. keep. Only keep. Only keep. Okay. Example. For of your work. Of your work. And number five. Work. Only work. Only work, work hard. And what was number one? Repeat number one, please. Work. Don't play. Work. Don't play games all uh -huh. the time. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Who was that? Jose, right? Okay, thank you, Jose. 
So we have the answers here, right? What can you notice? ¿Qué pueden ver de estas oraciones? ¿Qué tienen de distinto estas oraciones con las otras oraciones que hemos visto? Que no tienen sujeto. Ah, very good. Excellent. Right? Excellent. They don't have a subject. Aparentemente no tienen sujeto. Okay? Apparently, they don't have a subject. But their subject, they have a subject. Está ahí, pero no lo vemos. Okay? They have a subject. The subject is you. For all of them. This is the subject. Right? But we don't say it. Right? Vamos a utilizar imperativos cuando usted está hablando directamente con alguien. Okay? O con un grupo de personas. ¿Por qué? Porque you es para singular y you también es para plural. Right? Tú o ustedes. Right? So we can say, hey, you don't worry about a college degree. Right? You show your work to other people. You keep examples of your work. You work hard. Right? Ahora, we pay attention to this. Right? We are using you. So, since imperatives are in simple present, okay, porque estamos dando la instrucción en ese momento, right? We're going to use auxiliary don't, right? If it's negative, don't, right? Which is do not. Aquí no vamos a utilizar doesn't. Siempre va a ser don't, okay? Mario, don't eat in class. Ajá, uh -huh, you see? Right. Teachers, es mentira, Marius. Usted puede comer lo que se quiera. <laughs> right? When you say don't eat in class, they are giving you instruction. They are telling you what to do or what not to do. Right? So this is like an order. Right? Otra forma de decirle a los imperativos se dice commands, como comandos. Right? Como, usualmente, <clears throat> ¿quieren tener ejemplos de imperativos? Listen to your teachers. Listen to your mom. O si ustedes ya tienen hijos, escuchen lo que ustedes les dicen a sus hijos para sacar ejemplos de imperativos. Right? right? Turn off the TV. Eat your vegetables. Right? Go to sleep. Right? Andate a dormir. Deja de jugar. Stop playing games. Right? Son, todos esos son imperativos. Okay? Now, we're going to stop really quick. Vamos a parar acá la clase. We're going to continue tomorrow. Vamos a continuar mañana con los imperativos. Paso la asistencia. Super quick. Pay attention. Ana. Present. Andrea. Present. Carlos. René Rivas. Present. Present. Carmen Calderón. Present. Delmi. Present. Edgar. Elsa. Francisco. Present. Helen. José Daniel. Present. Kevin. Marlon. Present. Maura. Present. Nelson. Present. Oscar. Present. Reina. Roxana. Present. Reina si está, ¿verdad? Ok. Roxana. Present. Rubén. Presente. Susana. Present. Mario. Diana. Here. Claudia. Ok, you see? A la tía se dinamos. Menos de un minuto. Right? So today is day number three. So it's the day four. Carlos Mario Avendaño, no sé si se va a quedar los 10 minutos después de la clase. Right. Recuérdense, chicos, ir trabajando las eh, actividades en la plataforma. Right. Si, si Mario no se queda, se puede quedar alguien más. Depende de él. Si no, see you tomorrow, guys. Bye bye. Thank you, Thank you teacher, por todo. Thank you. See you You're tomorrow, welcome. teacher. See ya. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye, disconnect, please. Noé, Mario, Reina, desconectense, por favor. Mario Alexander, Noé Carrillo. Hi, Carlos, how are you? Hi, teacher. Fine. Uh, okay. A little bit. Uh, I forgot. Uh, <laughs> cansado. Fatigado. Tired. Yes. Tired. A little bit very, tired. Very, very tired. 
because my work is uh, about to drive all day long. Really, you're a driver? But yes, I'm, no, you... no, I'm a salesman, but I visit all the paracentral zone. Ah. Then I travel every day to many countries around uh, San Salvador. Many cities. Many oh, cities. Many cities. cities. Uh -huh. okay. Many cities. Only in San Salvador? Uh, no, no, no. All the you know, all the cities around, all around San Salvador. Para Central. Ah, La Paz, uh -huh. Soloquilta, San Marcos. La Libertad. Chalate. Oh, my Zacatecoluca, God. Zacatecoluca. I am from Zacatecoluca. Yes. Ah, qué bien, qué bien. <laughs> ah, pues, de hecho, hot. ayer anduve por allá. Really? Yes, sí. Really? It was very hot yesterday. It was raining. Sí, sí, uh -huh. sí. ¿Usted reside allá siempre? Yes. <laughs> ah, ok. I am from ah, pues, Zacatecoluca. Sí, yo visito la zona casi que unas tres veces o cuatro al mes. Oh, my God. Uh -huh. So you're Entonces, a salesman. Mi... Yes. What do you do? Uh, I visit uh, pharmacy. Pharmacies. Uh -huh. we, don't, uh, we don't have many pharmacies here. Only no. two, three that are uh -huh. good. Like La But Buena. I started my day in uh, El Rosario. Rosario de la Paz. Uh -huh. the, after uh, Santiago Nonualco. Uh -huh. uh, in some of the countries, the uh, Costa del Sol. Uh, y así, por el estilo. Ayer me tocó pasar todo eso y después subir a San Vicente. Oh, my God. Entonces, así. Mi día sí. son de kilómetros. A veces en Trabazón para subir a San Vicente. Están reparando la calle. Me tiré como dos horas en un congestionamiento. Exactly. Ahí that, I was about to tell you that. Ya van a empezar a reparar sí. la calle de Zacatecoluca hacia San Vicente. Y eso Exacto. Uh -huh. no, así es que. Be ready. Eso hace, muchas veces me atraso, salgo tarde de los pueblos, tengo hoy a mi mamita enferma y me tengo que irle a hacer unas compras porque no puede salir, mi hermano está con COVID oh, y él gosh. vive con ellos, entonces no había quien fuera a hacer las cosas y yo tuve que ir a hacer, entonces por eso vine un poquitito tarde. Super tired. Sí, entonces la manejada, fui primero a la casa, a traer unas cosas, de ir a la oficina en la tarde, a Santa Tecla, a visitar a unos clientes, y de regreso a los supermercados de ahí de la cima, después a dejarles las compras y todo eso, pero pues así es, ¿verdad? Ya. Yeah. Nos toca, entonces mi día es así, un poco fatigado, si, si me ve que a veces me hago para atrás es porque me estoy estirando la espaldita aquí, ya, ya cuando ya le estiro ya vuelvo a la posición normal, porque normalmente no, manejo, entonces a veces tengo que estarme tronando ahí la espalda, la espalda para que me vuelva el puesto. Para evitar la, la, los... los problemas musculares. No, está sí, bien, sí. o sea, nosotros como profesores debemos entender que a esta hora ya es más difícil estar sí. en clase, más después de un día completo de trabajo, es mucho sí. más difícil para ustedes, ¿verdad? Pero, sí, sí, bastante, pero tenemos el deseo enorme de seguir aprendiendo, veo. la verdad. Eso Nos veo, que usted, siempre... usted participe en inglés, eso está perfectísimo. Sí, a mí me ha gustado siempre, les comentaba, bueno, el teacher anterior que el, todo lo que sé y que medio hablo y conozco del inglés es mediante películas, música y ah. curiosidad. Siempre me gusta buscar la, la información. Curiosity. Ajá. Ajá, entonces eso me ha servido mucho, eso le digo a mi hija. Entonces parte del proceso del aprendizaje es eso, ¿verdad? Ser Ajá. curioso. Para, para seguir practicando, sí, eso, eso es lo que sí. tiene que hacer. Y aventarse al agua y tratar de, de cometer errores sí, para que sí, sí. para ir practicando. Sí. Perfect, perfect. A veces son más los nervios los que lo traicionan para hacer las cosas. No es que uno no la sepa, pero... <risa> y los nervios nunca se quitan. Sí, sí, nunca, sí yo, nunca. Sé, yo sé. Eso le digo a mi hija, porque a mi hija le encanta cantar y canta muy lindo. Y tiene 13 años. Y entonces eh, me dice, ay, yo quisiera ser artista, pero para eso te tienes que quitar, quitar el temor. A veces nos vamos a algún lugar, pedimos música y la hacemos que se levanta. Ay, que me da pena. Así le digo, pero si te gusta, tienes que aprender a hacerlo, ¿verdad? Es un karaoke, así, ajá. Y vamos. Ajá, le encanta, canta muy lindo. Y entonces, ahí la andamos motivando y todo eso, pero sobre todo el estudio. Sí. ¿Verdad? Y he estado muchos años en un colegio bilingüe. Ella. Hicimos el sacrificio, ¿sí? 
Oh. Sí, la tuvimos aquí en la escuela bilingüe Tazumal. Ajá, sí, 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 ya sé cuál es. Sí, ahí la hemos tenido, hasta hoy hace poco pues hicimos un cambio porque tuvimos un par de inconvenientes ahí, pero tenemos la fe plena en Diosito que la vamos a lograr regresar ahí junto con la hermanita. Ah, ok. Sí, pero entonces ella le puede ayudar a usted a practicar. Sí, sí, no, pero es que eso uh -huh. es lo que le digo, por eso la, 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 la regaño, porque yo sé más que ella. Toda. Oh, my God. <ríe> y ya estuvo seis, siete años ahí, y entonces le digo, tener que bastante. poner su parte para aprender. Le digo, no es posible que yo conozca más vocabulario, más pronunciación. Más palabras. Pero es por eso, por la curiosidad pero, y el deseo. Exacto, eh, y eso es lo que le digo, tenés que vencer el temor, o sea, hablarlo, decirlo, eh, como se te venga a la mente y lo peor que te puede hacer es que te vamos a corregir, le digo, cuando exacto. tengas pena hacerlo. Así es que aquí estamos también en esa práctica. Perfecto, a mí me parece bien y cualquier cosa, yo voy a estar pendiente si tiene alguna pregunta o si usted cree que necesita algún material, está perfecto lo que está haciendo con las películas, la música, eh, porque es la sí. única forma que uno va a aprender palabras nuevas y, y la pronunciación. Fue, mi problema en el colegio, en la adolescencia, no le hallaba el inglés, no le hallaba. Y en ese preciso momento, pues obviamente por mi edad y en esa época no había acceso a tanta cosa en inglés como para poder aprender. ¿verdad? Lo más uh -huh. que tenía uno era sus libros del colegio, entonces no me entraba por ningún lado, ¿no? por, por más que quería. Por ¿verdad? gusto. En la medida que fui creciendo, que fui escuchando música y que ya tuve la opción de poder ver un, una traducción, entonces me sirvió mucho y hasta la fecha pues, me sigue sirviendo cada día que escucho o hay palabras que me llaman la atención y entonces busco el traductor y cosas por este. Entonces ahí vamos alimentando. Eso me parece bien. Es como eh, hoy como todo lo tiene en el teléfono ya. Sí, 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 cabal, Ajá. rápido, se soluciona todo y no necesita uno ni distraerse porque solo le pone buscar y todo eso y, y mediante... Uh, uh, hablarle al celular y él hace todo ya le va a ir haciendo todo, perfecto ah pues ahí le voy a mandar un link a usted para que practique un poco más en los tiempos que tenga libros de de, de otro, otro de más vocabulario más vocabulario okay. básico para que vaya a ir mejorando lo que usted ya puede hacer en la clase porque usted Excelente. entiende bastante bien lo que, las instrucciones que doy verdad sí. y, y contesta eh, de forma apropiada ¿Verdad? De acuerdo con sí. su nivel. Uh -huh. Sí, Perfecto. sí, yo de hecho estaba hablando ya desde el primer módulo que quería ver si me posaba uno más adelantado, pues, pero la verdad es que siempre hay detalles que ir afinando y yo creo que es mejor ir despacito y aclarando todo para llegar a un mejor entendimiento y aplicación, ¿verdad? Del tema. Es correcto, usted lo ha dicho muy bien. O sea, a veces sí. nos queremos adelantar con los módulos, pero ya cuando nos adelantamos y ya vemos que no... Sí. No era de esa, de se esa frustra. forma, se, se frustra y dice, ¿por qué es esa que se tiene que regresar? O aplaza sí, y ya, ya no quiere después eh, eh, participar, ¿verdad? pero no. Entonces sí, me parece bien. Eh, no sé si tiene alguna como, eh, hemos visto dos temas un poco pesados, creo yo, para la mayoría. Bien. No sé si tiene alguna, alguna pregunta acerca de esos temas o a algo que quisiera que le volviera a explicar. Eh, no, uh, hasta el momento sí creo haberlo entendido. Okay. Si en realidad en alguna práctica vuelvo a fallar, creo que voy a recurrir, ¿verdad? A pedirle sí. una retroalimentación. No, no hay problema. En este caso estamos ahí dispuestos para, para, para tratar de mejorar lo que ya se sabe. Y siempre, ¿verdad? Siempre que yo escucho algo que, que puede mejorar, lo voy a decir inmediatamente antes que se me olvide, porque habíamos un montón Eso es lo en la que clase. Le, le digo incluso a mis jefes, o sea, a mí me gusta aprender, pero que también me hagan notar mis errores, es la única manera de ir corrigiendo en el camino. Exacto. Así es que en, 100% en momento, de acuerdo. Si toma mal, la corrección siempre es buena. Siempre es buena, es correcto. Así es. Ok, entonces, eh, okay. señor Carlos Mario, estamos ahí para cualquier cosa, cualquier pregunta que usted tenga, ahí me avisa y, o pregunta en el WhatsApp, la puede hacer directo en el grupo. Hoy. Magnífico, le agradezco mucho. Muchas gracias, pase linda gracias, noche. Feliz noche. Have a beautiful gracias. night. <risa> y usted también, gracias. Thank you.